7 Foods You Should Avoid If You Suffer From Acid Reflux Acid reflux is a digestive problem. It's characterized by a strong burning sensation in the upper part of the abdomen. It almost always extends to the esophagus and mouth. It occurs when the esophageal sphincter weakens. This enabling acid substance is to pass into the upper part of the body. The pain can be mild or strong. In fact, in some cases it gets confused with the pain of a heart attack. Its main cause is bad food combinations and large servings. However, it can also happen due to specific anomalies in the esophagus and digestive diseases. It doesn't tend to be serious and usually occurs sporadically. However, it's essential to treat it so that it doesn't generate other complications. Also, to control it fully, certain foods that tend to worsen the problem. That's why you should avoid them. In this article, we want to share the details of the 7 main foods that make it worse so that you can try to exclude them from your diet. Red Meats Red meat is a significant source of proteins. In small portions, it can be beneficial to the body. Despite this, it's not recommended for people who suffer from acid reflux. After all, many of its components can make this affliction worse. Its purines and acid compounds affect the digestive process and increase the production of stomach acid. On the other hand, it's a very fatty food that can cause slow digestion and constipation. Coffee Thanks to its delicious flavor and the energy it gives, Coffee is one of the most widely consumed drinks in the world. It contains antioxidant substances and vitamins and minerals that, in moderate quantities, improve health. However, it is not an apartment food for those who tend to suffer from acid reflux. This is because caffeine can trigger this symptom. This substance acts as a relaxant for the valves that regulate the flow of stomach acid. Thus, it can make it easier for it to return to the throat and mouth. Processed Meats and Canned Foods Processed meats and canned foods can cause digestive difficulties. This is especially when we suffer from recurring episodes of reflux or acidity. Their high content of sodium and artificial ingredients causes irritation of the stomach lining. As a result, it facilitates the return of acids to the esophagus. On the other hand, they contain saturated fats, flours and sugars. Once assimilated by the body, these can cause metabolic disorders and digestive problems. Spicy condiments Consuming spicy condiments can cause fluctuations in the stomach acids and can sometimes be irritating for the gastric mucus.
Although they don't tend to cause problems in small portions, some people suffer from acid reflux and burning after eating them. Overall, it's essential to minimize your consumption of spicy condiments, especially when combined with other irritating foods. Chocolate A small quantity of chocolate each day can provide our body with antioxidant compounds, vitamins and minerals that are beneficial to your health. However, it is not the best option for those who tend to suffer from these digestive problems. This is because it can be an irritant. Eating chocolate when you suffer from acidity causes increased weakness of the valves of the lower esophageal sphincter, which makes the symptom worse. This is due to its content of fats, caffeine and theobromine. These are substances that are associated with the excessive production of stomach acids. Fried foods. Fried foods, especially from industrial origin, are potential enemies for metabolic and digestive health. They contain high doses of trans fats, added chemicals and salt. Together, these irritate the gastric mucus and alter the digestive pH. Eating them increases the production of acids and causes repeated episodes of reflux and gastritis. Among other things, eating them in excess affects the inflammatory processes of the body. Thus, it increases stomach pressure. Refined flour. Processed bread, bakery products and all recipes that contain refined flours can worsen the health of those who have these kinds of digestive symptoms. First of all, they produce an acidic environment in the stomach and esophagus. Plus, they also cause inflammation of the tissues. Their carbohydrates are more difficult to assimilate and can increase levels of glucose in the blood. Bearing in mind the above, they should be eaten in moderation. After all, in excess they increase your risk of ulcers and gastritis. Do you tend to include these foods in your diet? If so. And if you suffer from acid reflux, it's best that you start limiting how much you eat them so that you can control this condition. Bear in mind that, although antacids can help treat reflux, the best way to avoid it is through good dietary habits.